up in the wild and here at SeaWorld. Most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. So now that you all just saw these waves crashing in front of you, you can't truly imagine how much water is this place until you experience it for yourself. Luckily, today we have a volunteer in the audience that wants to feel the power of the killer whale. All right, let's see. All right, everyone give a huge round of applause for Aaron. Come on down. All right. You feel good? Are you ready? Yep, you're gonna sit right here, you're gonna hold on to that and sit right back, okay? It's so, all right, it looks like we are good to go. Aaron says he's ready. All right. So we'll see, we'll see what he's got, everybody. Feel free, the more water he gets so by, the louder we cheer. So we have to ask ourselves, how does a whale this size bring kind of animal that size out in the wild? The answer is because killer whales are the ultimate team players. In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator. is used to teach young whales how to hunt and for the rest of their skills as they grow. Killer whales can be seen interacting and showing their playful side both in the wild and here at SeaWorld. Porpoising is when a whale swims fast at the surface, breaking out of the water briefly. when surfing in a wave. No. Orcas love to be touched. It can be seen rubbing their bellies on rocks when they can. Our whales have shown us that same behavior, just like you would see from animals in British Columbia.
simple behavior has a purpose. For instance, a tail is utilized to stunt fish in the wild, but today, I think our whales will be stunning all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to slow it down a little bit for you today and introduce you to one of our amazing animals. Give it up for Ulysses. Now, Ulysses is our largest orca here, weighing close to 10,000 pounds. Now, with that being said, our trainers work very hard to build a strong relationship with Ulysses because it can take a little bit. But once he does, in another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of your sinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.